Hey guys, and how about we watch a death battle, Ryu vs Scorpion. So as always, make sure to click here or go to ScrewAttack.com to support the official release, then come back here and we'll watch it together. So let's get this out of the way, I don't know either of the characters, Ryu nor Scorpion. Why? Because I haven't played Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Is that a bad thing? No, it just means I haven't played it. So if you want to watch a video about someone who's an expert on either or both of the characters, this is not the one for you. On the other hand, if you just want to have someone to watch the death battle with, if you want someone to offer their unbiased thoughts and predictions. This is the video for you, so welcome aboard. Or, you know, goodbye if that was the first one. Either way, really, all I know about Ryu is Hadouken and Scorpion. The black and yellow? So I have no idea who's gonna win right now. I have, like, no idea what either of them are really capable of. Sure, I've, like, heard bits and pieces about them in the past, but nothing really stuck, certainly nothing that would influence my decision here. Um, I'm going into a blind, and it's kind of awesome that way. So, since I have nothing else to say, let's get to watching. Death Battle's always fun. I like when they have new ones. Two marquee warriors, arcade rivals since the 90s, now facing off for true superiority. Ryu, the wandering world warrior. And Scorpion, the ninja from hell. He's oh. with an arm boomstick. I didn't know. I didn't know he was from hell. That's armor fine. And skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> Endlessly walking the earth and improving his fighting skill is the life of Ryu, the oh. Japanese martial artist without a home. But there's more to this karate hobo than meets the eye. After being dumped on a doorstep by his douchebag parents, he was adopted <laughs> by the mysterious Goken. From that moment on, Ryu dedicated his life to martial arts. Probably on some sort of parental vengeance quest. Probably. He trained alongside his best friend and rival, Ken Masters. That's fun seeing a young like that. Young, or assassin's fist fighting style. But the name is actually a bit misleading. While originally designed as a means to murder, Goken's personal take on the Ansatsuken is based around karate, kenpo, judo, and not killing people. Oh. Unlike the ways of his violent brother, Akuma, who ultimately would prove to be his undoing. Oh. Oh yeah, he can finger paint. I remember well, the Akuma. Well, Assassin's sure isn't your average McDojo style, because Ryu Shoryuken is an uppercut so powerful, it launches his victim sky high. The Hadouken uses a fighter's willpower to fire a oh, blast of energy and destroy evil things, like waterfalls. <laughs> and physics? And finally, the Tatsu... Uh, Tatsumaki? Tatsumaki <laughs> Senpu... Tatsumaki Kyaku. I had it! Anyway, the <laughs> thing that I totally know how to pronounce yes. gives the finger to gravity and lets him briefly fly around <laughs> like some sort of human helicopter kicking machine. He also has a powerful step kick he calls the Judan Sokutageri. Hey, we don't have the translation oh. for that one. I'm on it. And diarrhea <laughs> goat foot? <laughs> what does it do? Kick mm. people in the stomach so hard that he takes them to Brown Town? I wouldn't be surprised. Body, it's more like high level leg blade kick. You know it's oh. diarrhea kick forever in my mind now, right? <laughs> At the age of 23, Ryu entered the first World Warrior Tournament to test his skills. Okay. He swept through nine powerful combatants before taking on the champion, Sagat. Did he win? After a hard-fought battle, Sagat was set to take the win. Until he made the mistake of being a good sport. After beating the shit out of Ryu, <laughs> Sagat offered him a helping hand up. Instead of taking it, Ryu gave him a surprise punch so hard, it ripped his chest open and nearly killed the guy. Oh. Dick move, Ryu. He was Dick helping move. you, man. This was kind Ryu's of first taste of the dark in a power buried way? within him, the Satsui no Hado, literally huh. the surge of murderous intent. Okay. Still not as good a name as the diarrhea joke foot. <laughs> the Satsui no Hado gives Ryu incredible power, but at the expense of his humanity. Yeah. He can tap a portion of this power to safely enhance his attacks. However, should his desire to win become so great he would even commit murder, the Satsui no Hado can overwhelm him and he will lose control. But this is death Becoming battle where murder is inevitable. Evil Ryu. No, Evil we're talking. Ryu. Oh. Evil Ryu has enormous power to the point of being almost unstoppable. He can even blast a skyscraper to smithereens. Hmm. This seems really dangerous and again, a death battle. Distances, even passing through attacks along the way. More impressively, despite Goken never teaching him this, Evil Ryu can use the Ansatsuken's forbidden technique. The Shun Goku Satsu, more commonly known as the Raging Demon. Okay. Thank you, translation. 
With Can't this, even see Evil it. Ryu turns his foe's own sins against them and eradicates their soul. Oh. It was this exact attack which Akuma, a master of the Dark Hotto, used to murder Ryu's master. Since then, Akuma has been haunting Ryu, tempting him to succumb and fully commit to the Dark Satsui no Hado as well. Basically, this is Karate Star Wars. Oh, you call everything Star Wars! <laughs> well, well some even speculate that Akuma is Ryu's father. What? Oh God! What? It is Karate Star Wars! But Goken's teachings instilled a powerful belief in Ryu. Wait, so then wouldn't if that be his uncle? If he can resist and shun this dark temptation, did I miss the relationship he can there? attain an mm. even greater power. By detaching himself from all emotion, he enters an alternate state of consciousness. Like a Jedi. This boosts his speed, power, and can do all sorts of crazy shit to his abilities. This is the power of nothingness. Nothing. Stupid name. The power of nothingness is more focused than the Dark Hado, allowing Ryu complete control over his mind and body. Okay. Goken even once used this power to separate himself from his soul in order to survive Akuma's raging demon. Oh. Surprise, Obi-Wan is still alive. <laughs> Ryu is skilled enough to take on numerous thugs at once, tough enough to survive being impaled, and strong enough to overpower the genetically created super warrior Seth. Oh, and he's fast enough to dodge point-blank gunfire. Yet as evil That's Ryu, his aura is so strong he can just walk through bullets. That said, being the Street Fighter poster boy doesn't mean he's the top world warrior. He's lost a number of matches fair and square against the likes of M. Bison, Oro, and even his best friend Ken. However, many of these losses may stem from his struggle like to Ken. contain the power of the Dark Satsui no Hado, which is obviously quite difficult to do in the middle of battle. But when Ryu unleashes his full potential, stay the fuck out of his way! My name is Ryu. And the ultimate power has awakened within me. Well, that's scary. All right. There's Ryu. Now for Scorpion. From Earth Realm to Outworld, there were few who didn't fear the ruthless clan known as the Lin Kuei. Except the Shirai Ryu, a clan with some serious balls. Not only did they defect from the Lin Kuei, they mocked them on a daily basis by wearing obvious palette swaps of their clothes. Oh. They also like to pull classic pranks like annoying phone calls, TPing Lin Kuei homes, and constantly slaughtering their loved ones. <laughs> ha! What, what fun times. From the Shirai Ryu came Hanzo Hazashi, the hellish ninja of vengeance. But before oh. he became the stuff of nightmares, he was once an ordinary young child. Wasn't whose everyone? Whose father just happened to be a deadly assassin. In hopes of sparing him from a violent life of regret and murder, Hanzo's father forbade him from ever joining the clan. Sorry, son. You're not allowed to be awesome. <laughs> However, as time went on, Hanzo became desperate. He needed a way to support not only himself, but also his wife and son. Faced with few other options, he reluctantly disobeyed his father and began the life of a ninja assassin. As a ninja, Hanzo is exceptionally skilled in ninjutsu, pai gua, hapkido, and numerous secret Chinese martial arts. But it's his weapon of choice that earned him the nickname Scorpion. Get over here! Oh! Well, his kunai on a rope is iconic and deadly, I'm more partial to whatever the hell that snake creature is that lives in his hand. Well, it doesn't even work. Form, it impales the opponent and pulls him in close, usually for a sweet uppercut to the jaw. This is similar to an ancient assassination weapon used in the Tang Dynasty called the Rope Dart. It's mm. extremely difficult to master, making Scorpion's finesse all the more impressive. He's yeah, also no, it just looks impressive. with several yeah. weapons like long swords, twin katanas, and axes. Hosty. Scorpion's weaponry and combat prowess were put to the ultimate test by the legendary Lin Kuei warrior, Bihan, aka Sub-Zero. Nah. And things didn't go so well for our yellow-clad ah. Next thing he knew, Scorpion was waking up in the nether realm. More commonly known as Hell. Bet you wish you listened to Dad now. Then maybe you could have ended up in a happier place with your murdered wife and kid. Oh, oh yeah, they're dead too. Enraged at Sub-Zero for apparently killing all whom he'd sworn to protect, Scorpion scored a second chance by striking a deal with the sorcerer, Quan Chi. In exchange oh, not for his devil. loyalty, okay. Scorpion was resurrected as a phantom of the Nether Realm. He became Ghost Rider. Okay. And being reborn as a demon of vengeance has its perks. Scorpion can now teleport, summon fire at will, and create portals fun. in and out of the Nether Realm he was spawned from, literally oh. dragging others to hell. Whilst there, his plus ones can enjoy such tourist locations as Lava Pit and witness the corpse burning celebration called the Festival of Torture. Ah. Times. 
The mm. Nether Realm is the source of Scorpion's demonic power, and his strength rises simply by his being there. Scorpion is so vicious he can perform no fewer than 13 different fatalities. He can rip a person's head from their body, spine included. Wow, That's yeah. That's not something you just do. That's art right there. Rip off his mask to show his true face. Ah, what the fuck is that thing? And score a kill by transforming into a, well, giant oh, scorpion, of scorpion. course. Scorpion, fitting. Or a penguin. Wait, what? And although Scorpion was far from the most powerful combatant in the Mortal Kombat tournament, he has defeated lethal warriors across multiple worlds. He's conquered sorcerers, demons, cyborgs, and eventually avenged his death by incinerating Bihan in the Nether Realm. Mm. But it turns out that that Sub Zero guy was kind of innocent. The man actually responsible for the death of his family was Quan Chi. You oh. know that guy he swore himself to and has been working for this whole time? That's man, awkward. Scorpion's kind of like the Charlie Brown of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> As penance for his mistake, Scorpion dedicated his life after death to protecting the late Sub-Zero's younger brother, oh. Sub-Zero. Though he oh. still found time for shooting threes, hitting homers, and hosting his own cooking show. Those are real this week on Cooking with Scorpion, learn about chopping. Yeah, I'm not gonna this trust is anything real. that guy makes. Does he even eat anymore? <laughs> Aside from his weakness for the culinary arts, Scorpion's win-loss record is not as intimidating as you might think. But consider the outrageous scope of his competition. Any way you look at yeah. it, it's tough to be much more of a badass than a fire-breathing skeleton ninja from hell. I am Scorpion. Vengeance will be mine! <laughs> all right, okay. the combatants are set. Let's get ready to debate pause. once and for all. But okay. first, want to win the original script for this episode, signed by Wiz and myself? Use the widget link below to choose the fighter you think will prevail, and you'll automatically be entered to win. And now it's time for a death battle! And Pause! Okay, talking about this now, I want to say right off the bat, and this is a really iffy thing, but I'm thinking that Scorpion is going to win. Now, here's why I think that. I think that Scorpion, just on a more regular basis, fights tougher opponents. Like, they have Ryu wandering the earth looking for tough opponents, um, but I feel like he just fought other humans for the most part, even if the humans did have, like, some weird powers or whatever. Um, it just seems to me, from my limited knowledge, from what I gathered from this and, like, other various tidbits here and there, that Scorpion fights more powerful dudes. Um, I think that Ryu is really powerful in his universe, so even if Scorpion's win, you know, record is kind of spotty, it seems like he has the upper hand to me. Now, I do definitely think that Ryu's other forms, the, like, power of nothingness and the well, Evil Ryu, they could really come into play here, especially considering, you know, if Evil Ryu attacks, like, based upon the other dude's sins, Scorpion has sinned a fair bit, you know, consider- If you consider murder a sin, then yeah, he sinned a lot. He's murdered a lot of people in his time. Um, and so if it, if Evil Ryu is more powerful based on, like, how many sins the other person's committed, I'm kind of thinking a Spawn Kratos sort of thing here, then that could do Scorpion in. Um, I imagine that it's, it, well, it's totally possible for Ryu to enter the evil Ryu phase, considering they said that if he gets so focused on wanting to win, he can go into that, because it's a whole murder thing. In death battle, of course, you're going to want to win. He might not know that right off the bat, he might just think it's any other battle, but down the line he'll realize it, I'm sure. I'm not sure, though, if you can have both evil Ryu and the nothingness form at the same time. And so, if he has to choose between one of them, I would kind of hope he chooses the nothingness, because then I think that... Scorpion might win, and I kind of just want him to win now because I said I think he'll win, you know? <laughs> um, but it, it really is hard to say. Um, Scorpion, they both seem close range primarily, um, but in terms of long range, it seems like Ryu has the upper hand because he has like his Adokin and everything. And you don't want to get too close to Ryu either because like, he's Shoryuken and all that's super powerful. But Scorpion does have his um, kunai on a rope thing, that one, you know? Um, which is really cool and would do some damage from afar, but then he uses it to bring them closer, which seems like it's putting him at a disadvantage. So while I'm saying that I think Scorpion will win, I'm really iffy about that just because a lot of it seems to be in Ryu's favor. Real oh crap, now that I'm thinking about it, all I really have for Scorpion is that he fights tougher dudes! Ah! Maybe Ryu will win! I don't really know! You know what, let's just resume this one and see what happens. Let's resume this and see which points of mine end up being correct. So, play.
I will say though, still fingers crossed for Scorpion. Then again, he could dodge bullets. That's we don't know about Scorpion speed like that. Teleportation possible, but. Lots of pain there. Ow! Even more pain! Jeez, take him to the underworld. That'd be nice. He can take can other people there, right? After that? I'll finish this. <gasps> Yay! They're going to hell! Which is alright, because hell is a place. It's a place in this context. This is some fight. Ooh! Ow! Ooh. Ryu's not down yet. Neither of us have reached our full potential. As if that matters. <laughs> Is that him powering up or is that him on fire? I think he's evil real. Yeah, he's evil real. <laughs> Surprise. Just gonna take it. I'll no. show you what I'm made of. Don't expect mercy. Oh. That seemed painful. Hey, he just rolls! He's gonna turn. No? Concentrate. Nothing not succumb to evil. You just did succumb to evil. You only stopped succumbing to evil because you were losing with it. Ryu, I want the path of the true world. This is the power of mankind. Kamehameha. Teleport. Or just take it. Or just take it. You don't have to teleport from a giant laser beam. I walk a path with no end. What? Across our bones. Hey yo! I'm no chef. He's a big one's a bit overcooked. Ryu's Satsue no Hado and the power of nothingness were incredibly powerful. Yes, they but were. But raw power alone is not enough to destroy Scorpion. Yet Scorpion's advantage of already being dead didn't make this a cakewalk. In fact, Ryu had the perfect way That's to true. permanently end Scorpion. The soul killing raging demon. But he can avoid the instant murder move thanks to his awesome ninja skills and teleportation. It's not to do mention that for Ryu has very little beam. experience actually using the raging demon anyway. But most importantly, Scorpion's strength increases the longer he remains in the nether realm, with ah. no defined limit. Once trapped in hell with Scorpion, Ryu stood little chance in the long run. Zero chance if Scorpion Good just up and teleported him into a pool of lava. Which he could totally do. Scorpion was just too hot to handle. The winner is Scorpion. All right, claps for Scorpion. Cool. Next time on Death Battle. Next time, here we go. Quiet, I'm watching this. I don't recognize it yet. Dang it. I don't, I don't know what that is. Is it Kirby versus the one? It's Kirby versus the one dog! Ah! <laughs> uh, I clearly don't know the other dude, the Dragon Ball Z dude. I don't know who he is. 
But it's Kirby. <laughs> That'll Got be idea awesome. Idea for a death battle? That'd be Let so us cool. Know in okay. Comments below. And I'm already right, like, comments. share, and subscribe, and I will be very happy with you. And click the annotation to see what happens behind the scenes when Boomstick and I get behind the mic. Just a heads up, so that you can click the annotations video, if you want. Our premium service on Screw Attack. It's the best way to support the show and only costs oh. four bucks a Unless month. Unless it's advantage, then you can't click the annotations because I don't have access to that. Nor would I give it to you without you paying, you sneaky little buggers. No, I wouldn't. Ah, <sighs> that death battle. I really liked that death battle, and not only because I was semi right, and I say semi right because I said Scorpion, but I was like really iffy about it because Ryu was sounding better and better the more I talked about it. Um. But yeah, no, just it looked it looked really good. I think, and the I really liked the fact that they had lines of dialogue was nice in my opinion. I'm sure it like harkened back to the days of their video games. If you guys played it, I'm sure there were references like the Get Over Here for sure. Um, the rest of it I don't, we didn't really know. Um, I guess yeah, that he didn't dodge. He didn't like teleport away from the beam scorpion in the end because he didn't have to for the sake of the death battle, for the sake of making it more awesome, more dramatic. I guess they just kept him there. Um, which, you know, was fine, because he won anyway, he didn't need to. Um, now if that killed him, I still, I would have had a bit of a gripe about why didn't he just teleport away, but... But he killed Ryu, so... That's gone. Those two are both way more powerful than I thought they were. I mean, not, like, since watching the analyses, but just, at, like, before watching the death battle. I knew that they were powerful in their own worlds, I guess I didn't really know that they were that powerful. Especially Ryu, because I did know that, um, or I did think that Scorpion had some sort of supernatural stuff going on. I thought that Ryu was just kind of a fighter with the, I don't know why he had that, some energy attack. But just because people do have energy attacks like that in video games. Um, but I didn't know Ryu had those two, like, different phases or stages or whatever you want to call them. Um, but they worked out really well in his favor. Granted, he died, but they kept him alive for so long. I was, I was super surprised. I believe it was when he was evil Ryu, and he was, like, punching Scorpion. And Scorpion was just meeting, you know, fist to fist with him. I didn't realize Scorpion was that strong, because they talk about evil Ryu as though he were, like, practically unstoppable. And so I think, oh, frick, you know, that could be bad. It's kind of like, you just have to wait until Ryu, you know, gets, like, it wears off. But that didn't quite happen. I think Scorpion kind of beat it out of him and then the nothing to sing. I am glad that they got to, Ryu got to use both of those phases. Um, I still don't know if it can be used at the same time, but I'm guessing not because if you're focused on murder to the point where you're in evil Ryu stage, you're probably not concentrating enough to be in the nothingness. I will say about this death battle, as I pointed out during the actual fight, that I thought that it was amusing. <laughs> Ryu, you know, he just went out of evil Ryu and so like, concentrate, you're fine, you know, you don't want to succumb to evil. And, I'm all like, you know, he, he did succumb to evil, he totally succumbed to evil. It's a game? Nah, that sounds weird. He totally did. It was just because it didn't work for him that he decided to switch it up. So it was funny to me. Like, I can see why they would do that because they want to fit both phases in. And maybe they use that in the games or the show or whatever it was. But it's funny. I don't really have any complaints about this battle. Again, I would have had Ryu won with the beam because... Scorpion, I think, could have dodged it. He had time. He just stood there. Um, but since it was just part of making it dramatic, I'm fine with that. Um, maybe I would have more complaints if I knew more about either of the characters, but I don't, because again, I'm biased. So, yeah. I liked this battle. I thought it was really good. But now I want to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments. Just remember to be civil about it, because you're probably going to offend someone's favorite character if you don't think about what you're saying. And we don't like that. We don't like offending people like that. So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, <laughs> tune in next time for my next video. And until then, take care. Q outro, go!